Uh, yesterday, you'd have seen that we spent the day in heavy rain at Trenton Gardens in Stoke on Trent. And you pointed that out, didn't you, Joe? I did, Llewellyn. And while it was raining, cats and dogs, mm -hmm. I can say that, I noticed that they had some great shops at there, including one for the fashion conscious canine. So I couldn't resist taking Maisie along for some four legged retail therapy. <laughs> Good looking, bad tasting, full bodied, bling collars, leather harnesses, fluffy beds, and the latest fancy dress outfits for your pet pooch. It's all available at Doggy Fashions. They even have a range of perfumes to make her smell a little sweeter. Oh, she's beautiful. Mmm, that doggy smell disappeared, maybe. <laughs> can take it all because this face is free maybe next time use your eyes and look at me i think you'll find they're called fur kids that's the new name for uh, for dogs that are loved you know by the family they're fur kids so uh, there are lots of them around thankfully it's a kid with a fur coat and you've it got is, to dress it accordingly yeah. yeah yeah and if you don't want if you're not interested in clothing then um, you know cuz it's not everybody's cup of tea then that's fair enough but most dogs will need a coat in the winter cuz there's nothing worse than a, a damp smelly wet dog <laughs> So she's warm, she's dry, she's got um, a pocket for a mobile phone there and she's got a little pocket the other side for her map or maybe her compass. Come on Maisie. And being a Labrador supermodel, of course Maisie isn't worried about the calories. With the fashion shoot complete, she settled down on a leather dog sofa and enjoyed an organic dog snack, all three.